G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the Light Anorak 3.0 from Sword. As you can see, it's in the camo again, which is going to be for matching my pack. This is my day pack and I've also got the raid by Tasmanian Tiger in the multicam too, which is a very, very similar camo as this. Now let's start from the top. On either arm, we have a decent sized pocket, Velcro, and we've got the hook and loop or the Velcro on top, so you can attach your morale patches. And in the camo, they've actually camoed the hook and loop too, so that all matches in. Next step down, we have a reinforcement patch here, and we've got the opening at this end, which is Velcroed, which you can always put your pad in there for your elbows. And that comes down to your wrist. Again, the Velcro securing, so you can adjust it to your wrist size, nice and easy. And that's the same on this side. So with the hood, right, I've got my baseball cap on now. And this hood, if I pull it over, fits nice and secure around the hood or around the baseball cap and here you can see the pulleys to cinch the hood up so it fits nice and tight around my cap and if I weren't wearing the cap that would be nice and tight around my face and this is anorak so it's only a quarter zip so I have to put it over your head to put it on the actual zip as you can see here comes right up and covers the face but not too much to hide your nose but if you wanted to you could always tug this up even more and bring it higher but there's plenty of room in the hood even with it cinched up let's undo this so I can talk easier there's plenty of room in the hood even with it cinched up for me to turn my head and see what's around. So let's loosen this off a little bit more. That's it. So even more. But as soon as you loosen it, the hood does stay where it is. So when it's tight, the actual head will turn the hood with you. So let's open this back up to get easier pick up on the mic. So there's the hood. And as you can see, it's only just a single layer. There's no insulation in the hood, any of the arms, any of the body of this jacket. It's just the one layer apart from the reinforcement. And now the pockets. We have two pockets here, which are pockets and vents. So if you begin to overheat, you can just undo these pockets, which are a Joey pocket, and they are waterproof zippers on it and they are YKK zippers but as I say Joey pocket comes all the way through but on the inside there's a mesh so you can keep yourself dry and just undo them pockets the zips and let air in or let the perspiration out which is very clever Next, coming down, we have another Joey pocket at the bottom here. We have a lining in this one, just like a fleece lining. Uh, yeah, it's like a woolly fleece lining. It's not your normal tight fleece. It's nice, soft, fluffy, easy way to exp uh, explain it. But this is the magic pocket, I call it. Because you can see where my waist is cinched up. The actual poly for that is on the inside of this Joey pocket at the bottom. It's, this jacket doesn't have any except for the ones around your hood. So if you're one of these people like myself that when you're walking around and you've got the cords hanging, you catch them, <laughs> they've resolved it. It's actually inside this pocket. So let's show you, I'll undo my waist one first. I 
and that's the waste one undone. And again in here, there's two pulleys or two cinches, which are just this section. So we'll undo them. So there are the, the jackets got even looser. Let's undo this so you can see easier. So there you go, the jacket's nice and loose there now. I don't know if you can see down there, but we've got the bungee and they've put little tags on the end to make it easier. And you've got your bungee lock or cord lock or lion pull lock. So that same one's undone. And then there's another one inside which will adjust the bottom. So I'll undo that. And with it being a jerry pocket, it makes it even easier because you can get both hands in there to do the cords, whether you want to do them up or loosen them. So there you are, all undone, all baggy and loose. Now, when I first put this on when I bought it, I didn't realize about these being inside the pockets. And I thought, oh, it's pretty big for a medium. But then I found all the cords, which made it uh, able to adjust it to fit me properly. Now, I have put underneath this my largest and thickest and warmest down jacket which is a good puffed up about three or four inches and it fits under this nice and easy and i'm still able to cinch it up a bit to make it fit and to cinch the bottoms up to keep the warm in and to keep the cold out and if i turn around it's actually cut really low like the old fishtails sort of uh, thing so it covers your butt so when you are walking, you're not getting a cold draft, your, your butt's keeping nice and warm and it's reducing the chance of getting a chill on your back. So you're not going to be aching from the chill. But as I showed in my previous video, I've got a fleece jacket underneath, which is actually keeping me nice and warm. This one is allowing some extra heat and keeping the wind off me. It's a nice windbreaker. And the material, actually I've got it written down or typed down, so look, is the uh, manufactured from a Tweave Dora Stretch 520E fabric. So, and SWORD stands for Special Operations Research and Development. And I'll put a link to their page down in the descriptions below. It is waterproof. They had forecast rain today, but as usual they were wrong, but it is fairly cold. So this is going to be now part of my winter multi-day pack, my setup when I go bush. So there we go, I've just adjusted the waist, that's come back in. Now I'll adjust it at the bottom. A little bit more. I could leave them loose and baggy like that. But I'll show you how easy it is just to give them a tug of so you get the uh, cord lock, line lock, or pull lock, whatever you want to call it. If we can get to it, there it is. Give that side a pull. Give this side a pull. And now that's cinched it up so it's not so big and baggy and flopping around. But quality, it, it feels really good. It's the same company that uh, makes my Laplander pouch. And that is really, really good quality, that is. Uh, so good quality, I've got two. Uh, molly ones and one belt one. My hands are my hands are really cold at the moment, and from the chainsaw accident about three weeks ago now, I've nearly got movement back. But the cold getting into where that accident was really hurting. So it is a bit swollen still. Actually looks a little bit buckled. Yeah, it's a bit crooked. I must have cut the bone. Yeah, getting back to the jacket. Yeah, this is going to be. For when I go multi-days or overnighters or 
even on a day walk in the winter now, if we go bush walking, uh, it, it really does feel good. So, oh, and we've got pit zips. So that comes, if I can get to the, the zip. I can't see from here, but how far we go down. Yeah, it's underneath my, uh, my pack. So let's take this off. Yeah, there we go. We've got the pit zips, which come all the way down to here. And they're just open all the way. No mesh in it. Just straight through to my mid layer. And the best part, these come up to undo and down to do up. The other ones which you normally get to pull down, they're a bugger to do back up when you pull it up. So the downward pull on this is a lot easier. So, and that's a waterproof zip too. So it's really been well thought out this jacket has, or this anorak. I do really, really like it. I am keeping my, what do you call it, my, uh, oh, my brain's turned off from whatever the material is, but my one from Kathmandu, rain jacket, that has done me really well over the years and it's still doing great. So when I've got home with that, I've always thrown it in the wash, do a wash and um, re uh, repel, which is like the waterproofing, so keep it up. Gore-Tex, that's the material, my Gore-Tex one, but the reason I've gone on to this one is because of the camo, because my Gore-Tex one is a bright blue. And as some of you know, me walking through the bush, I want to be not conspicuous, so people can't actually see or have me standing out. I don't want to stand out, I just want to go out there and be part of the bush and feel like I'm part of the bush. So I don't want to look like somebody just trenching around the bush for a day. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on that subscribe button and click on the like button too, because it all helps the channel. And if you are a subscriber, Again, I thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell button so you can be notified of all future videos. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.